Sziasztok, ez az IVL. Hogyha a 9-es vére is mutató, és irány mutató, akkor már Egyébként bele fog hallaszani, mit mondtál, mert most már elég tudtam. TPS nézőbe játszok. És te most melyik vagy? Amelyik háttal van. Szerencsére majd elő van, hogy a játék. Igen. Ez az erepi játék a plények, hogy jön. Az a szereplék angolú pofán, mondjuk. Most ilyenkor meg van, amikor felajánlani. Igen, anya, nézd! Na légy játék, hogy én mondjuk ezzel. Amiben benni vagyunk. Hát a kamera elég belajulunk, akkor igen. Meg a hangot is hallani. Grima szólján, mert a bácsikat meg legfeljebb legkivágja a szanyi. Csak az... Nem, hogy látsz, hogy most nem is. I wish you luck. Once you have gained the trust of the Lotus Assassins, we will plan how to proceed. Now you take what you got and you do this. And do it on the Euro set game of fair and good idea. I tell you to keep playing. You must not miss your night. Nem az ilyen kínai lény az a játéknél, hogy Jaden Byer, mint egy kínai, kínai császár ideje játszani. Egy széket felindulás a valami. Dogs nipping at my heels aren't worthy. What do you need? I'm not even going to stop. Who's me? Can we stand on this? This way, Igen, fogjuk. Valamikor automatikusan ment, hogy most a lényeg terendőlök. Már megint egy téma. Ja, kösz, hogy jelent van téma. Most jelent a nőkörök. Na, ilyenkor nem vett ki... Tényleg. Ott 
Znaczy mój ujra to to tym nie było, to mam wyjątku. Muszę. Kiej to. Kukuć. A ja mam ci do mosta. Ach, i ty rejś. Hátra zajta. A miért nem ugrott el a hátra fel? Na most brekkesebb. Na hátra ugrás. We should have told you that Kylan will only see you alone. Are you ready to go in now? This is almost sad. Am I truly so threatening to the mighty Kylan the Serpent? Regardless, I'll be waiting with the others if you need me. Hmm. Mita koraki ya wa. It is vital that we talk a moment. You handled yourself well against the demonic servitor. It was a rewarding experience for us both, I'm sure. Take this as my thanks. You are a smart young woman. Smart enough to know that you will get much further as my friend than my foe. You may find that certain opportunities, mutually rewarding arrangements between us, will come your way in the near future.
Right now is an interesting time for an organization known as the Guild. I've no doubt that Kui has told you about us, if you didn't already know. Our organization is involved in many different activities, most of which operate below the view of the authorities of this great empire. Come now. We're above calling each other names, aren't we? The guild, you see, has recently developed a vacancy in its upper echelons. A man by the name of Gao the Greater has been killed, and with his death, a new leader must be chosen. I intend to replace him in that role, and I need good people to back me. <laughs> You knew him, yet you aren't associated with our organization. The logical conclusion is that you are his killer. If you are the one who killed Gao, then I owe you a favor. Consider my reluctance to turn you into the local <coughs> assassins a repayment for that debt in full. There is the matter, however, of your friend, Whirlwind. I'm sure you know that he was one of the fighters here and that he left the arena. But do you know why? past is certainly a colorful Did he tell you that he was thrown out of the arena? Public displays of rage and drunkenness, utter threats of murder, excessive violence, property damage, and I believe several charges of defecating in public. If you trust him, you are a fool. The Black Whirlwind is an impressive fighter, but he is better avoided than confronted. We couldn't let him fight as he was, so he left. His brother, Raging Ox, wisely stayed here and went on to become champion. You could reach that point yourself, you know. Indeed, that's a distinct possibility. <laughs> yourself, you will need my support. That means you and I will work together closely. A wise position to take in any negotiation. I can respect that. <coughs> you see... What is that noise? Hey, you can't... Tässä on toki tämä vaikutus, niin minä kuin tuota, että minä kuin mamma kuin simma, kuin minä niin tämä on tullut. Damn you, serpent! 
I'll kill you where you stand. Na most az erek ezért nem You won't whirlwind. Just like last time you will leave. I can see that this polite discussion has concluded, as so many do, in your odorous presence. We may talk again. Perhaps. <coughs> We're leaving now. You and I have to talk. Alone. It's important. <coughs> Ez ilyen akkor az animáció kérdékes, hogy egy kicsit ilyen. Look, you can't trust Kylon. I know he was probably offering you the world, or maybe all the wine in it if he were really crafty, but... You didn't honestly think you were going to slip down here after that little display, did you, Whirlwind? Step back, Joe. For once in my life, I've got something important to tell someone. You have nothing important to say, you lummox. You've embarrassed Kylon the Serpent, and I'm going to make sure you never get a chance to repeat your performance. I've been waiting for this. Time to cut off a serpent's tail! <coughs> He fought like a monster for a little guy. Uh, most ez valami bug volt, ha kimaradt egy harcbe a játékból. Better than I've been in a while. All this best behavior when you're in the city business is wearing on my nerves. Nerve. Not the first time I've gone up against one of Kylon's thugs, you know. Not at all. Remember I told you I used to fight in the arena? Well, I was the best there was. Then my brother came to the city and decided he join the arena too. The arena was about the same as it is now. Kui and Kai Lan were there and Lucky Cho too. But he was just a runt back then. My brother became the arena champion. The raging ox. They said he retired, but he didn't retire. He was killed. I should know. I'm the one who killed him. Raging Ox was one of Kylon's men. Well, he wasn't always. Kylon approached me first. And when I turned him down, he went to my brother instead. When Ox joined up with Kylon, I stopped getting good matches. Ox was fighting his way to becoming champion, and doing a little work for the guild on the side. He was so cocksure and wouldn't listen to his older brother. Once I'm he showed up to Kylon, he stopped talking to me. Soon Ox became Kylon's enforcer and carried out his bidding. He'd skulk around in robes so no one would know the arena champion was a common thug. One night I followed Ox back to Kylon's. I was drunk and I was mad. I just wanted to tell Ox how dangerous Kylon was, convince him to leave. But Kylon was there. He tried to interfere. I attacked him, and Ox tried to stop me. When it was over, Ox was dead, and my axe was covered in his blood. Kylon just stood there, smiling. I would have killed him if I wasn't so stunned. After that, I left. For the first time in my life, I ran. I ran and then I drank myself into a stupor that lasted for half a year. You do what you have to in the arena. Just don't fool yourself about working with a serpent. 
Lucky Joe's death just put you on the serpent's wanted list. You don't go stack that. I'd really like to see Kylon's face if you become arena champion. Of course, I'd rather just kill him. Come on, let's go. You had your chance to deal with me and you lost it. Find someone else to pester. Mr. Jedi, I'm not sure I'm going to go. So, bros, I'm going to go. You have to deal. Ibaba futottam bele. Na gyere el fej. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. What do you need? This next fight should be fairly simple for you. I once more want to send him up against four opponents. The crowd loves those fights. These are tougher than the students who faced before, but should pose no problem. Are you ready to get started? Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. I'll let me get my notes. Na, most találtátok meg. Na, érdek, feszítek. We found him just like this. You did? Three reach, the old stableman found him. He kept everyone else out. We can trust him. What about Cho? Do we know he's responsible? Last I saw them, he was following Silver Phoenix. She fights next, does she not? We place the men slated for that match with our own, and ensure that their blades are coated with extract from the Ebon Orchid. Even the ancient magic of this place could not neutralize that poison. It will be done. What about Lucky Cho? There are hundreds of people here to see the new fighter. We can't carry the body out of here. Then we don't. You must always use the resources available to you. Very good, Connor. Any to hold that up. Mm-hmm. Two more than I have to do with the data. No, three. Two. 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 I'm 
the cart, I saw it all in my kids and I'm not mad to fill it. Ma a másik karos Vét fordíj most Hát 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 nem tudja. Úgy Örökké nem vénekezhetsz. Okay, go on with care. Sit down. Yeah! Woo! I 
The Imperial Army honors us with our most unique trial. Let me get the harm. Uh huh. Let me go to go to look. Let the look me cheat. Opa, as que é ela também. Não comi que é que tá. Nós estamos nesse fight de verão, meu querido. Pro White Man. É de Ares e Munich. Opa. Nem jön fegyve. Erre sem. Hmm. Mi van még? Fegyvert már nem tudom, nincs fókuszom. Próbáljuk lógén mindent. Ez már működik. É, igen, a bőrű. Fine, you could defeat those things. The Imperial Army is telling you they figured out some way to improve upon the design. Thanks to you. I say stick to traditional soldiers. Sagacious TN needed no machines to build an empire. I strongly suspect that Lucky Cho's disappearance was no coincidence. I wondered when things would come to a head. I was hoping Black Whirlwind would just stay away, but he won't, will he? Not while you're here. It seemed too convenient that he'd one day just suddenly leave and never return, with only a letter to tell us he was going. I figured that if Raging Ox had been killed, only one person I could think of possessed the skills to do it, his brother. For his sake, I kept my peace. The last thing he needs is accusations of murder. He's already filled a dozen scrolls with records of public drunkenness, crimes against decency, and violence. Now, let's not speak of this again. If you must speak of it, talk to your friend directly. 
When you walk the streets and hear your name among the crowds, be sure that your ego does not swell like the body of eleven gaping maw, god of inopportune gluttony. Sinto tape drink. Gégye és nyúzott szoktam választani. Csönyi gépos szel legyen ebben mindegyik fele. Maxoljuk ki. Ennyibra csalgó csont. és még körök neki. Na még egyet, itt a vége, fuss el még. Fuss 
feladat teljesítmény. Mission accomplished. Soldier is a worthy opponent. I hope you understand how many warriors have tried to extrapolate him from the Super Division Championship. Be proud! From here, your battles will be even harder. A test, if you will, to see if you stand a chance against the Ravager. Impress the crowd, and you will have your chance against the Ravager himself. I can promise you that. <coughs> the real champion is the Ravager, but the Sun Brothers are your first hurdle. Who are you curious about? The crowd loves to hate him. He's vicious. He never talks, and he has no interest in the fans. But when he talks, he's unstoppable. Right now, almost no one will face him, so it's rare that the Ravager steps into the ring. It's for the better, I think. He tends to cripple people, despite the protective magic of this place. They're an odd triptoplet, if you ask me. They were three of the best individual fighters to participate in the arena. But they have changed after they fought together against the Ravager and lost. They're sort of a buffer. If the three of them together couldn't match the Ravager, only someone who can face all three will stand a chance against him. It cuts down on the number of injuries at the Ravager's hands. If you want to know more about them, you can ask the brothers themselves. I'm always happy to share some history with this arena's greatest fighters. Would you like to hear some of the tales? The first thing to know is that this arena was founded under the auspices of Sagacious Tien himself. The Emperor's blessings rest upon this place as the one true test of martial skill in the Empire. Interestingly, while we call it the arena commonly, its full name is the Trials of the Seven Gladiatorial Schools of Beneficent Light. A bound volume of the finest parchment contains the arena's rules. This tome holds over 3,000 rulings, the first dating back to the birth of the arena. Besides the name being unwieldable by the tongue, largely due to inaccuracy. There are far more than seven schools recognized across the Empire now. Further, the Order of Beneficent Light disbanded hundreds of years ago. They are no longer the governing body of martial education, so these are not their trials anymore. Still, we hold on to the name as a reminder of the glory days. Many emperors have graced this place with their presence from a secure private viewing room. <coughs> Our current emperor has not shown as much interest in the past decade or so. When he was younger, Emperor's son was a regular attendant, but I'm sure the years have stolen away the time he once made for us. No one knows them as well as I do, and that's likely for the better. Technically, we're supposed to lead a donkey around the fighting surface before each match. I consider that to be one of the tradition's best overlooked. Enough passes wander the streets around this building these days that I expect my predecessor's spirits will be satisfied. What do you need? You know all about him by now, don't you? Ex-champion, magician of great prestidigitation, and the man behind everything wrong with this place. It was simple enough for him. There's always been an affiliation of criminals known as the Guild in this city. Kylon 
his skills as a magician and his huge prize winnings allowed him to work his way high in their ranks. Now there's something of a gap at the top. With the resources he controls in this place, Kailan's now turning his attention to the rest of the guild. No one really knows. He didn't seem to have them when he was in the arena, but there was a period after his retirement when he vanished like the dying strings of a song. By that, I mean you would think you had heard of him, but could never be sure. Then suddenly he returned and just stepped into control of the arena. There are rumors that he might have gone off to join the Lotus Assassins, but no one's really sure. It might explain his newfound skills, though. It was simple enough for him. There's always been an affiliation of criminals known as the Guild in this city. Kailan's skills as a magician and his huge prize winning with the resources. Me, I'm just a simple promoter. If the guild tightens their hold, I simply make do. I don't necessarily want to help them, but I know the price of resisting them. I'm not like you. I can't defend myself in the same way. Always nice to move on to other subjects, I assure you. Things are interesting right now. Be as careful walking the streets as you are in the ring. I don't think Kailan is pleased with your progress. Talán meg lesz az arányiga is. Your victories are impossible for the other fighters to ignore. You are a master of the arena, the ground where executioners are born. Perhaps you have potential that you are not even aware of. There may be a role in the executioners for you after all. Why come to me when you've already begun to court the Inquisitor? Do you seek the blessing of someone less corrupted? No, you are stronger than that. We will trade away this timid front and tap a potential that you haven't yet dreamed of. If you survive, you will join an order unlike any other. We enforce the will of Death's Hand and the Emperor. We guard the treasures of the Empire. This will be your responsibility. Can you look on silver coins, golden tablets, or prophesized artifacts and think only of beauty? Then we will waste no more time. You are adequate, and I will allow you to begin training. Proceed to our fortress. It lies at the far side of the burial ground that is the necropolis, which you may reach through the rich section of the city. Present this token so that they will know you. I expect great things of you. Not many of our recruits possess both the skills to become executioners and the personality to attract such a loyal band of followers. Indeed. Many others think that they are above the norm when they join us. As if acceptance elevates their status. You will learn that conformity to our ways will serve you better. 
I am well aware of those who come with you, their strengths and their weaknesses. You inspire loyalty in most of those who follow you. That will serve you well. Am I? Or do you doubt your own abilities to deal with them if proven treacherous? In time, you will see that your loyalty to our order is all that matters. If you survive your training and remain in control of your senses, perhaps you will serve at my side one day. Good. I knew you could be relied upon. The others will want to know. We should go see them after we leave the arena. Do I need an enemy? Remember, I'm a master of all that. If my God, you, because you must see my extra blessing. Make it better. Better, You must go to the Lotus Assassin Fortress like we agreed. Find the evidence against Death's hand and I will help you rescue Master Lee. I don't understand. You've gained the favor of the Lotus Assassins with a fair amount of ease. What else is there to speak of? Is there something you are wondering? About me? I am Princess Sun Lian, the Heavenly Lily. What more are you worthy of knowing? I do not remember ever being allowed to just be a child. My mother died when I was born, shortly before the end of the long drought and the fall of my uncles. I was in the care of tutors too afraid to punish me and too ingratiating to teach me anything useful. I quickly found ways to sneak away from the palace. They dared not report my excursions for fear they would be punished. <laughs> they would scurry around all day trying in vain to find me. Ale jest troski dzieleg Walter. Yes, it was. I didn't fully understand the risk and made some mistakes. But in the end, what I have become is a result of that. In the city, I met the people, the peasants, the homeless, the thieves. It was a much different world from what you see from the palace. They never realized who I was. I'm sure they would have been terrified of the army storming in to rescue me. Most just wanted to be left alone. That life was exciting, but also useful. Even Lotus Assassins overlook the beggar on the street, but she still has eyes and ears. <coughs> you announce your questions like a wild animal with no warning of the claws you unleash. Proceed slowly, lest you turn me away. I do not like to speak about that. I try to avoid the court as much as possible. It is filled with sycophants pandering to the fancies of my father, with little or no concern to their own dignity. It is distasteful. I can handle myself better than any of the fancy courtiers who attempt to match me. I know that someday the court will be mine to rule. When I succeed my father, there will be quite a cleaning out. But with Death's hand manipulating him, that day seems less and less likely. <coughs> The shadow behind my public self. How else can a curious princess learn what really happens in her domain? I don't 
have time to interpret the veiled statements of advisors, so I became a thief, an assassin, whatever I needed to be. People will not speak to princess. Bad news kills the messenger first. Silk Fox knows how to persuade. That is how I learned about the activities of Death's Hand. There are many excuses for a vain princess to retreat from sight for days, even weeks at a time. <laughs> My father encourages oh, such getaways. And if courtiers ever discovered that I was not where I said I would be, who would dare question the Heavenly Lily? I may eschew the formality of it, but being the daughter of the Emperor still has its privileges. There is a freedom in it. I have the resources to go anywhere in the secrecy to do anything. If I wished it, I could be quite carefree. But that is not what I have found in practice. Instead, I see how my father's reign has twisted, and I know I must do something. That's better. I like that you listen, although your request is still very improper. Unless you make me a little more comfortable. I have already shared something of myself. Can you tell me something about you? Is there anyone that you care for? A noble, how romantic, aloof, separate by class and breeding, unattainable for a peasant, normally. Wanting someone you can never have, love you can never show in public, such loneliness should not exist. I have contributed to that. The princess behaves as she should, reinforcing the very rules I despise, all to protect Silk Fox. Which one am I? Hmm. <sighs> not be ungrateful. Everything in my life is dedicated solely to making me happy, but I am at odds with so much. I am always behind a mask, not just when I am Silk Fox. I am not allowed to show an interest in politics, defending the Empire, or even spontaneous affection. Can you see the dilemma you represent? Not only is our deepening friendship prohibited by station, but by... So much more. Hmm. <laughs> 
No, no doubt you would. You treat me like the foolish boys I have tossed aside in the past. I think I'd rather like that. You asked me about my first love. It was the Empire and its people. There might be room for another, given time and effort. <sighs> How would the court react? You have the skill to be charmingly discreet, but a few people could use a shock now and then. You and I will have much to discuss after we have restored my father. I am looking forward to it. Because the little romance baby. Or what I can, but you have other things to do as well. I'm not sure we have the time. There are too many important matters at stake. We need to make progress before I will feel comfortable spending more time on idle chatter. We should return to your group before you set out for the Lotus Assassin Fortress. Everyone should be prepared. These are not so these bats. No. Yeah, you got to do it. I'm just not companion. Look, my left leg is also also looking at the British. No. This is a bit more complicated. Too many actors are present. Nincs egy kezdeti kampány, csak a csédet bejárt, egy küldött ingyen bunyó kimaradt a játék, egy kicsit érnek feszítő volt azért. Ami de egy azért érnek feszítő volt, mert is most elcsúszkálni a dolgok, de hát majd lehet meg csak 6 videó lesz ezen a héten, hogy valószínűleg fűzhető, a jobb ásonsz. Nem is lehetszom. Nem vagyok elég gyors, most nem kezdem túlragozni. Egyébként a következő után azt hiszem, hogy lehet, a vörösségemos dolog következik. Azt hiszem, hogy most kicsit megborogottam a régi, borul a régi sor, de most a helyét végül lefagy általában lesni az AJ Fetteryhez. Az a mondjuk meg könnyű dolgom, ezt már nem megvan a tencuc, csak össze kell várni. Call of Duty az fel kell venni a felvételt, ez egy kicsit másság lesz, a Need for Speed az már szintén felvettem, a FIFA is megvan. És oké, akkor most már csak a könnyebb része fog következni a következőkben. Elvileg, a gyakorlatilag majd más lesz. Már egyébként.